Hey guys, it's your girl Ashley here. I'm here with my part two book haul for for the month of in April. Um, I got my book outlet order in, and I'm psyched to see the books I got. It's a really small book outlet order, only like twenty seven dollars or so. I don't know if you can see me very well on my camera. Um, but one book I did not pick up a book outlet that I forgot to bleh, forgot to put in part one of my book haul was Brian Smith's Deathbringer. I got this at the Dollar Tree for a book. It sounds like a zombie. Well, obviously it's zombies. You can tell the cover. It just sounds really good. Um, so I already opened the box. So it's not a true unboxing, but I'll get it. So give me one second. Here is the book outlet box. I should have been more prepared, huh? Sorry, guys. Um, like I said, $27 was my order, and the most expensive book was $5.49. The rest were extremely cheap, and I'll try to give a quick synopsis on each one of them. Um, the first book we have is No Safety in Numbers by Dane and Lorenzo. I'm probably butchered that name, sorry. That's what it looks like. A bright yellow, I love it. Uh, this is about four teenagers that are stuck in a suburban mall um, and there's a bomb that's going to go off. The biological bomb is discovered in the air ducts of a busy suburban mall. And it's how people are changing but not for the better. So it sounds really good. It sounds like maybe might be a little bit of zombie. I don't know. It just sounds really good. That was three forty nine. Um and then I got all unacquired things or acquainting things. I am so sorry, I'm butchering all these names. Anna Garzeba. I don't even know, sorry. This is about a girl who she dies and her friends kinda have to figure out what happened and why she died. So it's a mystery. Um and this was only, believe it or not, seventy nine cents. 79 cents. So I picked that up. Then I got Chloe Doe by Suzanne Phillips. Pretty cover. The back. Uh, this is about a girl who is in a mental institution and she's talking to a psychiatrist explaining about all her prostitution and her family and everything. It sounds really good and again it was only 79 cents and it's 188 pages. Then I got The Ever After by Amy Huntley. Really pretty. The hardback was actually less money than the actual paperback, which is purple and black, and then purple. Um, this was $1.49. It is almost 200 pages, I want to say. Um, it's like 150 or so. That's what it looks like. And it's about this girl. She dies, and she learns that she can touch things and go back into her past like her sister's wedding disney world stuff like that and change the past so it sounds like a really good book and she's trying to find out how she died then i have this is the reason why i put uh this book out of order in because i wanted this one particular book i wanted fangirl but it was sold out too so i couldn't get it and that is anti-goddess by ken darblink beautiful cover i love it this again was five dollars. Um, it's just black, and then what's that like? Oh, it's a blue. Sorry, blue if you can see it, and then like just a silver letter, lettering. Uh, this is about. This is book one in the Goddess War. Um, the gods are starting to die, and they're supposed to be immortal, and they have to have this girl to help them, and it just seems phenomenal book because I love like Greek mythology and stuff. So sounds phenomenal. That was $4.99. And then this book I picked up was huge. I did not know how big this book was. This book was the most expensive book in my book outlet order. It was $5.49 called Flashback by Dan Simmons. Look how big that is. This is almost 600 pages, I believe. Um, and it's about this... It's set in the future, it doesn't say what year, but it's set in the future where um, there's a, a drug called Flashback 
and it, you can flash back to like your memories of like say if you got married and then you divorced you can flash back to your marriage and the detective loses his wife so he keeps flashback into being with her he's addicted to flashback he has to try to help save not save but uh the the governor's advisor's son is murdered he has to try to figure out who killed them who killed the son and it says one man who can change the course of an entire nation turning away from tomorrow to live in the past it sounded really good and I think it's very underrated and it's huge for $5.49 and it originally is $16.99 normally I don't know if my camera will focus then I picked up these two books which oh, look at them they look so beautiful I love it um, and that was I've been waiting to get this book forever and I saw it on Book Outlet because I didn't want the masterpiece paperback and that is First Grave on the Right by Darnan Jones, Darnan Jones, I don't know, but it's really cool, and then it's a white cover with pink on the side. Uh, this is about this girl, she is a part-time investigator, full-time Grim Reaper, and the, the, the people who die have to come to her, even though some of them have died in mysterious ways, like murder and stuff, she has to try to solve it. It sounds really, really good, and it was a dollar ninety nine. Normally twenty two dollars, so I got that, and then I got the second book, which is a second second grave on the left, and I just love these covers. Like they're just so like this novel written in her on a necklace. Like they're just so pretty, and that one's green, and it's gonna go on my bookshelf. It looks so cute, black with green lettering. That was a dollar ninety nine, I believe. Um, and then they have the third book there, the fourth book, and the fifth book on Book Outlet. So I'm definitely going to put my Book Outlet order in for those three because it just looks so pretty on the shelf together. Whew, but that is my Book Outlet order. I have to try to figure out where to put them because I have so many books. So many, so many books. Um, I'm on a book buying ban, so you won't see any more book hauls from me till May, which is sad, but I gotta do it. I have a lot of books to read. Um... I actually have, I was going to do part of it, but I forgot the books in the other room, of uh, the library hall I have of books to read, which I probably won't get to reading them. I have um, Half Bad by Sally Green, Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell, and Fire and Flood, or Flood and Fire. Um, I have those to read too, so I have so many books. I'm looking at the shelf here. I mean the shelf, but the list of books I have to buy on that one too. And the only book that I'm currently going to be going going to be buying when it comes out in May 12th is Rebel by Amy Tintera. That's the second book in their reboot series. I don't know if that's what they're calling it. Um, and there's another book coming out by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Something about time travel. I can't remember what it was called. That's coming out in April too. Um, so you won't really see any more book hauls from me for a while. Um, but you will see reviews. I'm still reading Dorothy Must Die, so that's like my hashtag Friday Reads. I'm still reading Dorothy Must Die. It's a phenomenal book. I'm just taking it slow because I don't want to finish it because it's so good. And I don't want to leave the whole world behind. Um, and that's pretty much it. So like I say all the time, guys, keep calm, read on. Bye, guys.